So, what we discussed about, are you okay? Do you need some water? Um, no, you guys can move. Just move what we go through. Because you guys can't obviously be there when we're going over the stuff. Because what I'm trying to understand, what I'm trying to get to you guys, Shane, Shane, not right, just hold on a second. Because this is the most important thing I'm trying to get you guys to understand. This was what our essential questions that we were talking about last class period. If you guys can understand, if this divides into this, then this is a factor. And if we know it's a factor, what can we find from the factors? The zeros. What we can do is we can set our factor equal to zero to find the zeros. So in this case, this would be x you know, um, is equal to 4 would be a zero. That's where the graph would cross the x-axis. Now, if that is a factor, that means a factor has to be multiplied by another factor to give us our polynomial. So what we're going to do is let's see if this polynomial is divisible by x minus 4 by using long division. So to do that, we set it up using our long division algorithm. OK. Now, basically what we're going to do is, if you guys remember, we always divide by our first term. Well, actually, the first thing we want to do is make sure everything is in descending order. Correct? OK. Now that we have everything in descending order, I'm now going to say, all right, does x divide into 2x cubed? Yes, it goes in there. 2x squared. OK? Then I multiply 2x squared times x, and I multiply 2x squared times negative 4. 2x squared times x is 2x cubed. What you guys should understand is we're trying to eliminate, we're trying to eliminate this value. So whenever you multiply this times your first term, you should get the exact same term again. And then 2x squared times negative 4 is a negative 8x squared. And again, as I mentioned, and I was true, this is where a majority of students make their mistakes. So you've got to be very careful with this. That's why I'm using different colors. Once you guys have it at this point, you subtract the rows. But make sure, guys, subtracting the rows means this minus this. This minus this. Okay? So 2x cubed minus 2x cubed is just going to be 0x cubed, which is 0. Negative 7x squared minus negative 8x squared, that becomes a double negative. So you're just left with a positive x squared. Now, once I have this value, you can bring down everything else if you'd like to. But now, we start the process again. x divides into x squared positive x times. Then we multiply x times x and x times negative 4. x times x is x squared. Do you guys see how, again, I'm getting the same terms? Right? If you, did, if you don't get the same terms, you did something wrong. Then x times negative 4 is a negative 4x. Again, oops, why didn't I put that in green? It's the same number. I'm just putting it in green. So now, again, we subtract the rows. x squared minus x squared is 0x squared, which is just 0. Negative x minus a negative x, that again is a, positive, is a double negative, right? So it's really like 4 minus x, which is just going to give you 3x. Subtract, bring down the 12. Last one. x divides into 3x three, three, times. three times plus 3. 3 times x is? 3x and 3 times negative 4 is negative 12. Again, you subtract the rows, and what you get is 0. So now again, guys, doing long division is important, is, on, is, is helpful. But what is, why is this so important? Because now we know what our factors are. So what are two factors of this polynomial? Well, how can we rewrite this as a product? We can now say that x minus 4 times what? 2x squared plus x plus 3 equals 0, right? So can I erase at least the top? Wait, I need a yeah. question. Yes. OK, so I understand all of this except like, the very first part. All you do is you take your first term and divide it into 2x cubed. Okay. It's basically me asking you this. 2x cubed divided by x. That equals 
two x squared. How, wait, how, can you redo the last part, like three x minus four, like how'd you get that? Three times x is three x. Three times negative four is negative 12. So you gotta multiply the, I didn't show the arcs, but you gotta multiply three times x, and you gotta multiply three times, three times negative four. Because um, x divides into three x three times. And then you multiply the three and times both of them. Like, I'm asking from the second part, how do you get to, yeah, that, how, what happened after that? Negative x minus a negative 4x uh -huh. gives you 3x. Okay, that's what I'm wondering. Yeah. Um, what do we do with negative 4? You're just, it, you just use it as a number to be multiplied. You don't divide it into there. Oh, and you then just, that goes down. Okay. Right. Mm -hmm. So what I want you guys to understand, Ryan, is x minus 4 times our quotient equals our polynomial, right? It really is like the same thing as equaling y, basically, right? This equals this polynomial. Does everybody agree with me? Yes, does everybody agree? So what's important about this, what I want to get to you guys is the whole reason why we're doing this is because, ladies and gentlemen, what if I give you an answer and I say, hey, here is, oh shoot, why did I erase that? Ugh. Um, but if I, have this as a pro if I have this as a factors, then if I say what are the zeros, what would I want to set, the, what would I want to set my factored form equal to? Zero. zero. And now, is it possible for me to find the zeros? Yes, you take each factor and set it equal to zero. So you could say x minus 4 equals zero. And then over here, 2x squared plus x plus 3 equals zero. Now this one's easy to solve, right? Just add 4. x equals 4. Over here, this one's not as easy. I, again, have to look into factoring. Now, we haven't done one of these in a while. If you guys remember, when factoring here, you got to multiply a times c, which is 6, and then add to give you 1. And we say, is there any two numbers that multiply to give you 6 and then add to give you 1? No. So in this case, what are the ways could we solve if it's not factorable? Can't factor it. If you can't factor it, what ways can you solve it? Um, quadratic formula, anybody? x equals opposite of b plus or minus the square root b squared minus 4 times a times c all over 2a. So if I was asking you, I'm just trying to go through on the point, if I was going to say find the zeros, then you'd have to, then you could do negative 1 plus or minus the square root of 1 squared minus 4 times 2 times 3 divided by 2a really hot. 1, 8, and what you guys notice is this is going to be imaginary solution, right? So your zeros would be x equals negative 1 plus or minus negative 23, square root of negative 23, 4, which you're going to rewrite square root of 23i, and then 4. But what I want you guys to understand, you guys understand that this can be rewritten as 23i. Right? What I want you guys to understand, though, is how